Ever stare at a perfect photo and feel bored? Give me five to 10 minutes and I'll teach you my living photo trick in Canva. Replace the sky, water, and more with moving videos so your designs look 10 times more interesting in seconds. Guaranteed to give your imagination a kickstart. Let's get going. Okay, I'm inside Canva and I'm gonna show you a new technique that you might want to try whenever you're creating your videos. Go to Video and click on that. I'll choose Landscape, but you could use any of these if you wanted to. Next, I'll come right down here and choose Blank. I'll stretch this a bit like this. Next, I'll go to Canva AI. Then I chose Image. Okay. Then I added my prompt I made in ChatGPT right here. I'll reuse it again. So here's the prompt I created describing this pier with water, etc. I've already upscaled it. You can tell it right here. If you want to upscale an image in Canva using the AI editor, for example, do this. I'm using Canva Pro, and most of these things I'm going to be showing you will be using paid tools. If you don't have these, you'll probably need Photoshop or Photopea or something like that. First, I'm going to take this image as is and download it. Then I'll drag it in just like that. And then I'm going to take this image and put it right there. Let me enlarge that. Go to position, I'll pull it up here. So next, I'm going to come right over here, then go to videos and search for water. I think I'll choose this one. I'll drag it right down here. You see, you still can't see it, but it's there. What I'll do is take it and put it right here between these. Now you can see it. So I'll take this and pull it right down there. Nice. We can also try to make the color match a little bit better. I'll click on edit, then over here to adjust and lower the brightness and the saturation and the vibrance. Now we've got the water. We can change the speed of it too, like this. Now you see how it changed right here. That's because when we made it faster, we also shrunk the length of it, but we'll just pull it right back up here like that. I like that, okay. I was going to search for a walker, but there's one right there. So I'll use this one and put it right here. Then I'll take this lady and enlarge this to make it easier to see. I'll put her right here on the walkway. Yeah, that'll work. So I'll take her back to the beginning. I'll pull her off the page like this. You see she's in front of the fencing. I don't want that. So I'll take her and put her in between those fences there. Now you see she's behind, right? That's what I want. Okay, so I'll pull her right back over here and shrink it a little. Next, come up here and click on animate, then click on this B. I'm going to hold down the shift button and walk her across. This way it keeps her walking pretty straight. You can also make it smooth or steady and change the pace. That worked out pretty good. I'll take her back to the beginning and click play. Okay, so that's one thing you could do. If I wanted to make it even better, I'd go back to Elements and look for a boat. Click here and go to Animation. Click on Animated and see if any of these work. I think this one will work. Click on it and shrink it down. That way it'll last the whole length of this little mini video here. Do the same thing. Go to Animate, click on the B and hold the Shift key. We'll move it around so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll also make it go a little slower. If you don't like that path, you can delete it and do it again. You can also change the speed, whatever you want. Once you like it, click Done. I think I'll make it bigger. We could also add some clouds.
let's match the look of this. Go to Edit, then to Filters. Yeah, that's better. You can also change the transparency. Then click on Animate, click on the B, and move it. Then we can put this all the way across, like that. Okay, then click Done. So that's one way you can animate things, by using something that's already moving like a video. Add that to your static scene and it completely changes it. So that's one idea. Let's try one more. For this example, I'm going to put my prompt there. This is for an image of a mountain range. Let's click here and see what we get. It always makes four so you have plenty to choose from. I'll choose this one. I'll upscale it, then download it. I'll go right here and duplicate this for right now. There we go. Then I'll go back to Uploads. I'm going to take my new image and drag it in. Okay, so I'll take this image and then click on Background Remover. Now there's nothing there but the mountains, and that's what I wanted. Okay, and if we want to see it better, you can always enlarge it there. And we're going to take this image, bring it down here, and put it right there. Now we'll go back here to Videos and look for a cloudy sky. I like this one, so I'll pull it right down here. Right now, it's on top, so I'll take it here and enlarge it like that. Next, I'll pull it between these two. All right, that is so cool. If you don't like that image, you can always replace it with another. Let's find something that has more movement. And it completely changes the whole look with just one little step. Very cool. You could add other things in here if you wanted to, but I just wanted to share a very quick way with you that you can help you animate scenes inside your Canva projects using very minimal things, but especially video. Video is excellent. And if you can master just a few tricks like this, you can take your videos and other presentation projects to the next level very fast. Have fun trying this technique on your own. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.